Well, this is Money in Main Street, and it's now time for our one-on-one -on -one chat with our featured CEO of the week. This week, we're happy to have Bill Corbett Jr. Bill is president of Corbett Public Relations, Inc., an award-winning public and media relations firm that's based in Floral Park. Welcome to our program, it's Bill. It's great to be back. It's good to see you. Well, we're tackling the topic of winning the battle for attention in business. There's a lot of noise out there. Getting noticed and staying relevant is key. Well, attention is the critical thing that businesses need to get. Uh, it's where, where the attention goes, the money flows. Right. And if people are paying attention to you, that means customers are paying attention to you, your marketplace is paying attention to you, and that's where business success will come from. I mean, you have a statistic here that we talked about. Some 95% of businesses, uh, their owners don't have a marketing plan or a strategy or written goals. That's startling. Isn't it shocking? I mean, yes. People are basically like a ship going through the ocean without a map or a rudder. They don't, know, they don't know where they're going. So I've Not learned, advisable. <laughs> no, and I've learned this from doing a number of speaking engagements and doing trainings where I've actually asked people, and I've seen 95% of rooms raise their hand. These people don't have a plan. It's not, un, you know, it's not surprising because most people don't have a marketing degree. So we try to educate them and help them learn about the marketing tips and strategies to use. All right, so let's talk about what you need to do to win the attention. There are some mm -hmm. strategies you'll sure. share with us. Well, number one is you've got to understand your marketplace. You understand who, you, who are your customers and where do they kind of live, whether it's online and, or what publications do they read, yes. what TV shows do they watch. Mm -hmm. And when you understand that, you're able to customize your message. Failure to understand your audience is failure to get your message out to the right people. Mm -hmm. So you got to think about that and you also have to think about being creative. You have yes. to do things differently. There's another saying that I love, different is better than best. If you can prove you're different at doing things, yes. um, it's better than telling everybody how great you are. No one really cares about how great you are. Yeah. But if you're different and you achieve the goals, that's what people Well, want. you want to get the message across that you'll re be reliable and give the product or service that people are expecting, but maybe have something singular about right. what you're delivering to the customer. You also talk about being consistent and using different platforms to stay top of mind. Right. Well, if you're not top of mind, you're out of mind, right? You're mm -hmm. not being thought of, and you want people to think about you. That's the attention that we're trying to gather. So yes. what can you do? That's why you want to use Facebook. You want to use traditional advertising, whether it's uh, print advertising or television advertising. Yeah. But you also want to look at things like uh, video feeds that can go through uh, YouTube and other things like that that attract people to you and show people who you are, what you're about, yeah. and what your products can do for them. Well, you did talk about Facebook. Um, mm -hmm. How much of a focus should there be on video and mobile, web, text, social media at this stage of the game in this day Well, I'm going to tell you that if you're not, if a business person is not involved in using uh, video on social media, whether it's Facebook Live or straight up video, yeah. they're two to three years behind their competitors. Really? They're and they're falling The live far. streaming you think is uh, Well, live is huge right now, but yes. generally video in general, it's, it's the best way for people to see who you are and communicate. You're looking me in the eye, I'm looking you know, at you, and mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're making that connection. That's what you need to do, and that video allows you to do that. Of course, you're the PR guru, right? So you also talk about building and honing your communication skills. So can you give me a few takeaways for our viewers? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a little bit amorphous, building and honing right. your skills. And, and there's right. many, many books that have been written on this topic, but number, number yeah. one is know your subject matter cold. You have to know everything. And so when you're getting prepared to give a presentation, whether it's between one person for a business pitch, pitch for example, mm -hmm. or whether you do in a speaking engagement in front of 100 people, yeah. you have to know your information cold. You heard the saying, practice makes perfect? No. We want people to be perfect when, before they go out there so they cannot make a mistake. Yeah. You don't, the, 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 the stakes are very, very high. If you only have one opportunity to make that impression, it better be right. Uh, so practice is super important. Mm -hmm. Understanding your message is super, super important. And going back to that, understanding your audience. You have to know what they want so you can deliver it to them. Now, do you need to outsource PR and marketing? Um, some of the smaller businesses mm -hmm. don't necessarily have the resources. Nope. Maybe uh, they have someone in-house. But you know, how do you gauge that? Um, you don't have to you know, spend money you know, on a firm like me. I'm not putting myself out of business. There's plenty of people out there who need a, assistance. There's a lot of places to go online to learn about it. But mm -hmm. um, PR is an important element of a marketing program because it, nothing like PR, being in the media, being in a, an interview on, in a newspaper, gives you the credibility. Sure. And it gives you this, this level of credibility that your competitors won't have. So yes, you can DIY it, do it yourself. Mm -hmm. You just have to spend some time learning. So let's get three takeaways, concrete steps mm -hmm. for the small business owner that doesn't have a plan. We talked about the mm -hmm. fact that 95% of businesses don't necessarily mm -hmm. have something written down. Right. So can you give me three <laughs> easy to digest takeaways? Right. Uh, uh, well, we talked about understanding your audience yes. to thinking about your message. What do you want to convey to those people? Why are you different? And thirdly, look at the different platforms that you can have your message uh, you know, uh, amplified and gotten out there. And I guess I'll uh, point one more extra yeah. is video. Get video. on video now practice 
practice, practice. And it doesn't have to be professional video necessarily. No. I mean, like, people Facebook, are much more accepting of just Facebook, stuff on their phones. Facebook Live is raw. So you can be yeah. raw. It's not a studio like this. You can be raw, and people want to see that. It's genuine. Behind the scenes. All right. Bill Corbett of Corbett Public Relations, we appreciate your time. Thanks for being with us.